Hi guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to, I think, what is part 16 of our recurse playthrough in total. We're back. We're on the last tapestry. We're on the last page of the last tapestry. However, um, things aren't as easy as they seem, as um, you'll probably know from yesterday's stream. We kind of got a little bit hung up on things. We did manage to find a ruby, which is some sort of progress. But um, yeah, we're going to head back in here to network. And I'm still kind of believing that what I need to do is get into here while it's orange. That's my kind of thing that I'm going for. So, let me take this chest for the orange side. But you see the... You see already... I don't know why I need a pot. Basically, what I believe I need to do... not that. That's, that's not what I want to do. So, I have a pot, right? Let's now turn this into an orange pot. What's going on, PP? PP. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of there. Mm. All right. I won't, um, <clears throat> I will refrain from calling you such. Oh, wait a second. Take me back out, right? Uh-huh. Did I just work something out? No! What's going on, Eddie? Welcome on stream. Hope you're well.
This one at the moment seems like it's like the toughest one that I've come across yet. Foul show. If I go through here, that'll then give me the room as a blue room, won't it? I don't want the blue room. Or do I? chest though. Is that a problem? I just reset all my progress. So that's what I need to throw to. Get that chest up to the top and that where that key is, but I just don't see how to do it. Because I need to return through there as well, right? Well, yeah, but the, the, my point is, right, I, let's say I th threw the chest right there. My issue is I have no way of then going through. Because I need this one on orange, the other one on blue. I can see how to do it if they're on the same colour. I can't see how to do it if I'm on different colours. And if I just throw the chest... I just go through it before I, throw. I can't go through it. I just throw it. <sighs> oh. But. That'll be on blue though, won't it? I have no idea how that works. Or I've known this this game sometimes. <sighs> I've no idea what just happened there, or why that even worked, but it worked. Ah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> yeah. It's like it's like when when am I ever going to take any notice of what poor Ponky says, right? <laughs> All right, so now, now I kind of got the same issue again.
<sighs> right, so I can create... Let's think. I can't put the cauldron that side, can I? I can't jump through down there either. So how are we gonna get how are we gonna get that? I think I just realize something about the cauldrons as long as you don't go through them as long as i don't go through that cauldron while it's on the blue side then this side gets saved the minute i go through it then that's when it kind of gets the two blue sides and screws everything up so okay that's, that's something i learned i guess have i tried solving the puzzle <laughs> uh... Maybe I need to do the same again. I almost think yeah I almost think guys almost not quite I almost think do we need to swap it can we even do it do we need to swap the cauldrons round so that this one now exists in blue You got a point. screwed it. No.
So get them both to exist here. No, I've just lost that chest. Haven't I? I've killed the chest. Damn it! Try to remember how I solved this now. So we got this bit down. That's one thing I guess. But I did it last time I did it, I didn't manage to do it without hmm. Last time I did it, I managed to do it without creating a pot. Then we could do that. And then we can do that, which pretty much gives us the same thing, right? Oh, yeah, there's a thing there. We can't duplicate this room. matter so much about that now. We can afford to lose that for now. To unlock it. It's almost the same thing we had before. Taking any notice of you. I wonder. I 
I love that area, man. That area's the best. I needed to really listen to myself, what I said earlier on in the stream. What's going on, Deathwish, by the way? Happy birthday. Um, something I said earlier on in the stream, which was um, you can move the pot without affecting it as long as you don't jump into it. Right. Wormhole is next. Oh, dear. Goodness. Hear my head on what now? <laughs> oh, we've just we just screwed the pooch by doing that. Where's the other one take us? Okay. Now if I remember rightly... That doesn't get affected by water, does it? No. going on here. My goodness. Hang on a minute. Where the frickin' hell's the key? Keys there. What am I talking about? Wakey, wakey, knock. Wakey, wakey. Jeez. do it the other way around because I can't jump up to the top here with the pot. Thank you. 
Just play around with that all day. Why would anybody want to beat the game? Like seriously, why would you want to beat the game? That'll take me back to there. What if I... But if I could do that with the chest now, then jump in the chest, grab the key. If I had the chest on me at this point here. and does what I just did. Really not helpful. Baz, I have made a right hash of this. I've gone from like, thought I knew what I was doing to completely not a failure. This is an orange, right? This one leads to an orange. One leads to an orange. Yeah. Again, though, it's just going to it 
doesn't help because I need that in the water. So what I need is... Do I need to do that on the blue side, maybe? <clears throat> Sorry, that's something I haven't contemplated. Not sure how that helps, though. Go through there, we lose that. Could keep it. do is flood the room. But to flood the room, I need to be almost take it's this into itself. Pots don't count. You can't flood a room from a pot. Creating the pot sends us down there. That's just going to give us a cauldron back. with me. It's very gratifying. It's very gratifying. It's very satisfying when you get those um, oh moments. I have to say. Flight. Interesting. I see what I need to do. 
I was like two enchanted chests. That's insane. That's crazy. But I think I see what I need to do. Indeed, you are. Indeed, you are. <coughs> Sorry. If I jump through there, that screws me, no? Yeah. Because that just leads to orange. That's the one that leads to... All right, I need to give this some thought. So, this will take me to blue. So I do this one. Takes me to there. So that one takes me back to blue. So then I do the same again. Takes me to blue, so I need to move the blue cauldron up to the top. Right. Could I do that by... I think with some puzzle games, though, um, the some puzzle games can be very frustrating when you don't have an undo an undo button. Like, um, oh, there was an example of one, wasn't there? Recently, oh, what was it? I can't think. I don't think so much you need an undo in a puzzle. I think. Some puzzle games would benefit from having like a checkpoint system at some point because when you're in a puzzle which is so long and then you, you kind of like taking incremental steps then having to take a step and think about it, it can be very frustrating for a player when you move on to another trial of thought, try something, doesn't work, then you have to go all the way back to the beginning. Um, sometimes the player forgets what they did in, the orig in their original kind of like process and original steps. Um, which can be rather frustrating for a player. Yeah, but then it's finding a balance though, isn't it? Because smaller puzzles are okay. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. You don't need a big, long, large puzzle to have a good puzzle that's logical and satisfying to solve by any means. But... Um, in a smaller environment, it makes it harder to make a um, trickier puzzle, which is why I think more games tend to, more puzzle games tend to have bigger puzzles um, 
as an increased size of difficulty. Yeah, I think the, the example I was thinking of was um, Hugh. Both myself and LB have recently played Hugh uh, on our channels. And <clears throat> there are some like parts in that which just painstakingly make you do the same thing over and over again in the puzzle. And it's just so repetitive that the it's really frustrating if you make a mistake and then have to go back to the beginning and redo all those steps like two or three times in the same puzzle. Um, if a puzzle has steps which are different and unique and logical... Um, but at the same point, don't frustrate the player, then it's, it's totally fine. Anyway, I need to get back on track with this. So I have this up here, so now I need to get the blue cauldron up to there. Clever. I like that. Now I can grab this one. I need to put that one back down to here. I think. it up at the final hurdle. I wasn't paying attention. How terrible of me. losing <clears throat> as much as I love the debate I'm getting too drawn up in the debate and thinking about that rather than concentrating on this puzzle at the moment so um, just give me a sec guys I'm going to concentrate on this again <clears throat> excuse me I did notice there are a lot of people were I I've, I've seen a lot of things on the, um, the forum for Recurse that um, people seemed quite unhappy that um the, the, the undo bird um, disappeared. Right, that takes us to orange. That takes us to blue. Again, 
No, I didn't. I thought I'd done the wrong one. Okay. Yeah, I I'd agree. There there is a, a, a massive amount of um error checking and stuff I guess you gotta do. Yeah, I, I can I can appreciate that. I think what I need to do here. Which one do I need to throw? <laughs> that one... This one I think takes me to orange, right? No, I did it again! <laughs> I think that's where you, um, I kind of think though that's where like people who aren't, who, uh, that's more like casual players, I, I think you'd probably say. I think uh, those are the sort of comments that you get from like more casual players who aren't so um, used to playing uh, like puzzle games, uh, who casually pick up the game. That's what I was trying to say. You'd get a lot more patience and a lot. Um, you get a lot more patience from. Sorry, I'm jump through. Uh, players who are more used to puzzle games, I guess. And somebody who just picks it up casually and says, hey, I, I, I can't do this, what's going on, kind of thing. Anyway. I need to really concentrate here. This one takes me to orange. <laughs> Fucking hell, what... <laughs> <laughs> you gonna turn this into Minecraft Death Wish or what? Jeez, holy crap. Um, Alright, so I think this one goes up to here, right? Okay. That one takes me to blue. Blue. Can we remember that? That one takes me to blue. There we go. <laughs> Triplet. Uh, 
haven't seen any visual notifications, I don't think, this time around, as well as to, um... Alright. Ooh, okay. It's a three-chest doobery what's me thingy my jiggy. I need the block in here. Obviously that's not the right thing to do. That was pretty easy to ascertain. Goes to blue. Now, if I go through this one, I should put this one in the rotation as opposed to the other one, right? Yeah, having an eight plus viewers since the nineteen forties, man. Turns to blue. Because there are no rooms as such, we can't duplicate that, can we? That's the thing I did, and I'm not quite sure how I did it, but hey, it's a thing I did. So now I'm going to take this one into here. I think, if I go through here, I should have us into rotation, right? Yes. Hey, I done did solved it. Check me out. Check me out. 
<sighs> Submerge. Sounds like a water level. Um, looking at the time, though, guys, I'm probably going to call it there for today. Uh, we solved four, four today. We solved. So we have four main ones left. Uh, we just are uh, on here. I'm just going to take a quick peek at these. Just to see if there's a any like markings or anything. Which may indicate where we'd find some rubies and stuff. Well, I went this way before, right? As of yet, I don't think I've come across anything in the last tapestry here, which would indicate uh, we got something in the Ublit conundrum. Voyage. It's not looking too promising, is it? Let's be honest. It's almost possible. Anyway, yeah, I don't know. Uh, we're going to have to maybe have some thought or, or look at that a little bit differently. But tomorrow we'll come back and... Um, And um, we'll we'll kick it off with Submerge. Maybe we'll get these four puzzles done in tomorrow's stream, uh, which will be the last of the week for me. Guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, links are on screen. Please go check them out if you haven't done already. We'll be back tomorrow, as I said, um, carrying on with The Last Tapestry. But until next time, I've been Knock. You've been awesome. Happy gaming. <laughs>